She came all the way from Boston. She was going to work at Holly Family, so she's going to talk about her work. So, thank you. Um, thanks for coming, guys. So, uh, this, this is 10 years worth of work. Um, not, there's more, of course, than just what we have here, but these paintings, um, these bigger paintings, I can do about one a year, and I started there. Um, I started working on a series um, that are dealing with fabric probably in 2001, uh, 2000. So, and this is this this sort of series, which is the title of this series is Surface Studies. Um, started what a few years later. So this is, um, and I can do about maybe like one one and a half a year. So it's a really slow process. I'm working from observation. Um, and it's it's just it's time consuming. It. But anyway, just in terms of the, um, the whole show, uh, that's sort of it's an overview of the last sort of ten years and um, a sort of process of uh, working from a common idea and sort of expanding on that idea and exploring um, a sort of pared down reductive process. I started working with still life like everybody does in undergrad, uh, and it. I never really stopped. It, um, I, there's something about the sort of immediacy of the relationship with the subject of just working, you know, directly from the setup. Um, and these are all, like I said, from observation. Um, I have a piece of flat. These are all of fabric. Let me back up. Sorry. So what I, at one point, I had a lot of a sort of narrative still life uh, process where I was arranging little objects that, and making a sort of, which was sort of generating the meaning of the painting by what the meaning of the objects were. And I started taking them out, because I, I started to question the validity of that, of that narrative. And um, so I was down to one object in the painting, and I had the backdrop, which was fabric. And then I finally took that last object out of the still life, and then I was just painting the fabric. So it's, it's really that, this process was really sort of that simple. But I was looking for something um, sort of more profound or another way to find meaning in the paintings besides ascribing a meaning to an object or a symbolic kind of uh, object or set of objects. And I think, so I started sort of looking really hard at a really si simple object, which was the fabric. And so all of these paintings, except for that one, which is the newest one, are of fabric. It's the subject and of clearly all these three. And I'll, I'll talk the, and I'll clear all the ones that are sort of on this side of the, which is all of them but that one. Um, these prints are also based in, um, on the same kind of imagery, and then the three on the back wall are also from the setup. But I have, in these, I, have, I started to play around with um, manipulating the space in paintings by adding, so like a darker strip with a light, a light, lighter sort of um, architectural implication on the outside edges. Same thing for the, that, the one with the square. So these two were the oldest in the in the show, in the exhibition, um, and I so I would make this sort of space in the in the background just by applying this sort of light or dark, and then I would have a piece of fabric that's flat against the wall, and I would paint in this case this information just right on in the white with really thin layers of paint right on top based on a piece of fabric that's gridded off, the canvas is gridded off, and I'm looking. You know, that's how I'm generating this imagery. So that's how I made all four of these. Um, this one, these sort of getting more and more simple with, by the one at the very end being just lines, which was, I'm really close, I'm getting sort of closer and closer to the, the, the subject, which is the fabric, um, looking at the warp and the weft of the fabric, the sort of wrinkles, which are um, sort of documenting the history of that object. And I, I got really interested in um, thinking about how close the object I'm making, which is a, a painting, what is to the object I'm looking at, a piece of fabric. So essentially I'm taking a piece of canvas, which is fabric, and I paint it gray, and then I make a painting of a piece of white fabric on another piece of fabric. So it's, it's, it's almost like um, just thinking about how close I can get my subject and the object I'm producing to be very similar. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's been kind of a long day. <laughs> but, um, so the one at the end, is, uh, at the very end, is probably the closest to um, I got to that kind of uh, exploration. There's another cam uh, canvas in this series, but 
that you know, it goes to articulate that. Then I started moving, after making gray paintings for a while, I started moving into, I wanted some more contrasts, and I wanted to um, be thinking about light uh, a little bit more directly, and then, and that, again, I sort of take on that textural surface a little bit more uh, directly, and that's this, this one, which is, has a little bit of a curvature also to the, um, uh, this, the original setup, which you can, you can see, maybe, hopefully. And then uh, this has just multiple layers of this uh, flake white, which is a, a lead-based uh, white, which gives you that kind of the, um, that thick, it'll hold the shape of the mark, which is, you see here. And, and it's sort of, I liked how this is um, actually catching the light and casting shadows on the canvas itself, which makes a, more, a little bit more sort of a sculptural implication, which I thought was interesting. Again, leading, leading this back to the idea of the object reflecting what I'm looking at uh, are becoming pretty closely related. So um, that is basically, I kind of made it what we have here uh, behind me. Um, the prints are linoleum block prints, which are is a reductive. They're very low tech. You guys have probably made them. Uh, the kids make them in grade school, but but I wanted to work in my studio, and I don't have a press, so you can hand press them, and and it's it's a very it's a reductive process, which made to me made sense in the context of the rest of the work. And I just um, the sort of in this kit, this print right here, the um, the marks that are white are the. Um, I had taken from a painting, so I made a, I got the sort of linear information from a painting that, um, that I had made. And started, it, the prints were great because I had one sort of matrix, which was the, the linoleum block itself, which has all that, lo the slow part, which is that careful line work, slow line work, uh, already done. So I can play, I can add color and take it off and I can, you know, just play around with them, which I, it's, these are, this process is, is fairly time consuming, so it was great to make the prints and just as, as another sort of quicker way to generate some imagery and make, take some risks with the work. And it was really fun to make work like that. I'm just you know, pressing, pressing a little bit, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a fun way to make images, I think, uh, for making. It's a great sort of companion activity. And then the three little paintings around the corner are all from this year. Um, and I wanted to make some smaller work. I had a little bit of a lighter teaching load this semester, so I was able to um, try some, a little bit, sort of take a little break from these larger canvases and think about uh, describing form a little bit differently, a little bit more directly. I've been editing, I, and again, these are set up on the wall. So I have a piece of fabric that is very, you know, that's set up in that configuration, and I'm, I'm looking at it for the, the, you know, the sort of central section of those three paintings, and then just starting to play around with color and light a little bit differently, the saturation of that red, for example, which I just wanted to try some things and sort of see if I can push myself out and sort of in a new place, because this has been a long road. It's like, let's try some new things. And then coming from that, I had been thinking about um, sort of working with nat sort of more natural forms and taking a break from the fabric as a point of departure. And I've been working with um, tree branches, <laughs> kind of going back to a, a more direct um, still life approach. Although I'm still editing by not having any of the shadows, of course, in the back. I take, I went out and got branches literally and painted them white and have them set up on the wall. I spent a lot of time on the setup because it's essentially the, um, the composition, like that part of it and like tacking them. I have them hanging with string and I'm really, there's a density that has, I, I was very, felt very specific about their, the negative space is activated in a, in a particular way. The scale of them was really important, and then the texture came into it, which is, um, to me, was um, a huge, hugely fun and significant part of it. Just like, again, like the same kind of approach as the texture on these paintings, but or this one. Um, but it, again, it reflects the actual object. Is that paint coming off the canvas in a way that is um, that is what I was, you know, in response to the texture of those uh, of those forms. And I think this is. I've been spending. Um, some time in Italy the last, what, four years I've been teaching in Italy uh, for, for Boston University where I am a professor. And I think that I'm thinking a little bit more about, a, a little about 
a little bit more about um, a kind of a more iconog iconographic imagery. Um, and again, like I've been looking at Bellini, uh, who you know can't stop. And there's you know you go to Italy, there's a Bellini show. You know, it's like wow, yeah, that would never. You know, there's Bellinis from all over Italy. It's anyway. So just that going. I'm so I'm kind of taking a step back in a way, thinking going back to still a more still life based approach. But really, to me, it's, it's the same process as the fabric paintings. It's just uh, there's more form. The forms are different. I'm, I'm interested in thinking if I a little bit if I return to a more um, a, 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 what, what I'm considering a still life uh, of objects like this. Um, I've, but I've already gone, gone having gone through this process. How am I going to approach this a little bit differently? As I ask myself, and this is what I've come up with. Um, this is, was finished about a month ago, and I have another one just like it in the studio. That's, well, it's, a, it's a little bit of a different arrangement, kind of thinking about elements. They're very new, so I probably should stop rambling about what these possibly could be. But that's about, that's kind of, you know, it's one of those images that I've had in my head for quite a while, and then finally I was like, I'm just doing it. I'm going to do it. And it's, I, um, I'm fairly happy with, uh, with this painting. It's, it's great to be able to have it out of my studio <laughs> so soon after finishing it. And I, I wanted to thank Pam for having me and you guys for coming tonight and, and for the opportunity to, to show all this work together because I haven't seen it very often um, out, all of these big paintings in one space. So This one's beautiful. It's, it's really nice. Yeah. It needed to be alone. Yes. And I'm glad it, that's good for this. It was great for the space. Questions for Jill? Technique? Anything? Content? Anything to ask her? Mm -hmm. Some painters here to ask questions. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, um, I missed the first part. You probably already said how you did that, but did you, did, that's all like hand done? 